Hey guys, welcome to Jason Explains Things. My buddy Chris and I are here and we're gonna chat with you about the Chevy Colorado ZR2 Bison. Chris, your truck uh, has gone from a pretty cool truck uh, at the beginning of 2022 until now we're into 2023 and this thing is looking pretty insane. It's gotten out of control. <laughs> you can say it. Cut, cut to Anchorman. Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. It jumped up a notch. It did, didn't it? So Chris, as we're getting closer and closer to what I think you said is your truck's final form. Final form. Yeah, I wanted to talk to you about like all of the modifications we've done, have a bit of a clip show, if you will, um, but also say, you know, kind of get your gauge on like what you think people should definitely do, you know, if there are any that you regret, um, and then stay tuned to the end of the video because we are going to tease what's left. So let's spend another year. Let's talk. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So yeah. what what have we what have we done? What have we done on it so far? What uh, all the way back? Well, Without... let's let's go. Yeah, let's let's talk about the the main ones from the beginning, but also we'll we'll go into more detail okay. about the yep. 2022 ones. Uh, so some of the first things we hit were I put some shock skids on because yep. you have to do that. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> we uh, we added the front bull bar. We added the spare tire carrier. Yes. We put comms in this and the Forerunner at the yep. same time. Yes, we did. Uh, and I think that was kind of a lot of what we did the first year. So uh, we started. I think the first thing we did uh, at the very beginning, like mm -hmm. exactly a year ago, was the uh, the GM the leveling kit. The leveling kit. Yep. 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 We did that in, in anticipation of a couple of things which we also did yep we also did <laughs> um and so that it, is uh new upper control arms that are like a different angle right yes the geometry is different yep yep just to keep things in spec when you raise it up i think it's like an inch and a quarter it's not a yeah. lot but it levels it out and it it helps for the future it's also right so kind of that was that was the big yeah. factor for me was yep. we wanted to put a winch uh in the front bumper which we did um, up, yeah. That was pretty amazing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we have a come up winch in here now with a Factor 55 uh, hook on the end. All super uh, waterproof. Mm -hmm. um, I yeah, think I'll IP68 yep. rated. Yep. I think. Yeah. Yep. And uh, and then also that that was uh, was awesome. And then also um, shout out to our AEV friends, especially uh, Nate Ham, um, who who kind of helped us source a couple other parts like solenoid um, relocation kit, relocation yep. kit, the super crazy beefy like giant aluminum fair lead that was that was an awesome super fun pretty um, great that was pretty that was a great. great that was a great day have good friends in. if you can turns out they're, they're i agree they're have fun. good friends like this guy <laughs> um so yeah so i think after the leveling uh, so jumping back a little bit after the leveling kit we did the cbi bed rack we did a couple of things really close together there we did yeah. the cbi bed rack um which i love i'm really 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 happy with it um use my link in the description yeah, ambassadors. <laughs> We're ambassadors. We, uh, again, actually, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll say this for a second. Um, with CBI, we are not sponsored by CBI uh, at all, um, but I am a, an ambassador for them, so I have a link. Uh, if you use that link, it does uh, help the channel out a little bit. Um, pretty much no one's used that link, so you know, be the first one, it'll be cool. <laughs> <laughs> but but no we we love we love CBI. Uh, there's a lot of CBI yeah. going on on both these trucks. It's not and because they're paying us. It's because we love their stuff. Exactly. It's really good we, stuff. We we yeah. we buy it. Yep. We buy it. Yep. I mean uh, we we are buying. We do get a discount, but we are purchasing it. Uh, yep. And uh, and it's worth the money. You can Absolutely. tell. And it's made in Idaho. Yep. Northwest. Northwest. Exactly. So um, the reason I went with the CBI this rack specifically, yeah. um, well, you can probably tell from behind me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's I wanted up cab like... height for a very specific reason. Yes. Um, and this is great. It's it's got a really good. It's very sturdy shell. Um, it's planted on there. It's been on there for seven, eight months. Seven, now. eight months. Yeah. Yeah, and it's solid. You yeah. you do you do occasionally tighten up the bolts. I mean yeah you just just be smart yeah. um, I go through every once in a while and I, I haven't noticed much but yeah you go through and you tighten up the bolts every once in a while just mm -hmm. to make sure you're not being dumb yep when you're being dumb uh, <laughs> so yeah we've done hill climbs with it I pounded through a bunch of things and it's been rock solid uh, it's been it's been really good on I'm me. actually again we're gonna kind of jump forward a little bit but uh, I'm gonna uh, cut to a shot from uh, our trip when we went and got the tent that we're gonna talk about in a second but it's amazing I'm like I think the the bed rack doesn't flex but but the right. truck bed and frame flex yes, and it's uh, you, you definitely want your bed rack to be rigid and you want it to be over engineered not under and engineer engineered especially if you're gonna add a bunch of stuff to it absolutely yeah absolutely so with that almost at the exact same time 
we also finally added a snorkel to the truck. Yes. Um, and that's been been a lot of fun. Uh, that was a long time coming. You, you, I, I went back and I was watching some of our old stuff, mm -hmm. and you talk about wanting to add a snorkel to your twenty uh, sixteen, your twenty sixteen yep. white truck. Yep. And so it's just a while yeah, ago. That, that was yep. that was such a fun. Again, that was such a fun day installing your own snorkel is not for the faint of heart. No. You, you are drilling big old holes mm -hmm. in your truck, uh, in his truck anyway, and you are cutting and you are, and you're like, well, there's no going back now. It's, it's, it's no, you, you, you hit time. a point when you're like, yeah, well, we got to finish. Because, <laughs> yeah, that was, but it was a lot of fun. It was a really cool install. It went really well, I think overall, and, and I've been happy with it. But there are some, Idiosyncrasies, idiosyncrasies mm -hmm. right with having a snorkel let's let's sure. let's tell the folks yeah. I, I think as i warm my hands i think I'm you're talking cool. about the water ingress i'm is that what you're talking about i'm talking about water okay yeah all right yeah uh yeah so with a, a front facing snorkel like this just your standard uh head on there um in rain and in snow and in slush and pounding through puddles <laughs> uh, you're gonna, pouting in puddles. Yes, yes. You're gonna uh, you're gonna get some water in there, and I haven't. It hasn't been that big of a factor. Um, but yeah, you do with something like this. You do have to be a little bit more cognizant of it. And I go in, and I'll check the air box on the inside right. of the truck. You know, underneath the filter. And there are a couple little drain holes there, but it's it's all segmented. So you got to go in there every once in a while and just make sure things aren't hairy. <laughs> right, right. And you've but, had to kind of give up drive through car washes, right? Oh, yes, absolutely. They tell um, you you can still do it, but you don't. No, no. No, I wouldn't at this point. With all the stuff I have on here, it's just easier to, to know I'm not causing any yeah. undue harm. I've been really happy with it. I've thought about maybe changing out the snorkel head to something a little bit different. The cyclone one? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. I've been happy with this, and it really hasn't been that much of a problem. It's just right. something you have to pay more attention to. So. Right. Would that kind of decrease your air input a little bit? I mean, uh, I've heard back and forth a lot, a lot, yeah. a lot on it. So I don't know. Nate, Nate, our friend Nate from AV, comment below. He, yeah. he likes to comment on our videos. <laughs> and, and if he does, I will pin it about, about whether or not a cyclone would kind of, because you did have the most slightest, tiniest increase uh, in gas mileage, One year right? update. One year update. Okay, let's go. Yes. So if you go back to the last video, watch it. Why not? It looked I, different. I think we talked about an average of 15.1. Yes. Uh, it has, with all of this on it. And it's a lot. <laughs> all of this on it. It has increased ho, ho, ho. to 15.5. Nice that job, man. A net win. I don't know how. So if you want better gas mileage. Magic, add lots of crap to your truck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if it's the engine breaking in or I don't, I don't know. It's, it, it could be yeah, that, it totally it's could be that. It's interesting, but I'll take it. There um, are a couple things I know that you did, and we can, we can talk about them briefly here, mm -hmm. that we didn't do videos about. Like, I know that you added Expedition Essentials uh, oh, yeah. mount to yeah, your yeah. dash. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, yes, absolutely. You know, I know we d you did that. Uh -huh. I know you did. Uh, that's another Expedition Essentials thing, right? Too mm -hmm. the, uh, the the Max the, Tracks holder. The Max yep. Tracks holder, and they're awesome. They're out of Spokane, mm -hmm. Washington, and so is that where they're from? I don't, think that's right. I don't remember off the top of my head. I think it is. This isn't live. They're not Spokane. I want to say it's like Northwest. They're from here. They're from Washington. They're from here. A uh, thousand we'll percent. Put, we'll put where yeah. they're from here. <laughs> I thought it was like Bellingham. Oh. But I don't know. Okay, well that, that would make more sense why it's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the, yeah, the Ram mount um, that I have in the dash, I love. I mm -hmm. absolutely love it. It's been great for phones and for the radios and, you know, holding that. That thing is bulletproof. Mm -hmm. All of this was, we did it all in stages getting ready for kind of the next thing. So yes. we did the we did the level, you know, in anticipation of the winch, which is incredible. I did the, the rack in anticipation of the tent, right. which is up there now. And that yes. was, that was a fun trip, Jace. That was a fun trip. By the yep. time this conversation has come out, uh, we'll link to a video, a card above and uh, in the description of our trip to go get that tent. Yeah. Uh, again, um, not sponsored, not even as, as much as a coupon code for that one, not right? Not that one. I mean, you paid that was pure enthusiast. normal yep. price for that. Yeah, but it was a lot of fun. We went over to uh, kind of central Montana. Belgrade? Right? Yep. 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 And, uh, and picked this up from GFC, Go Fast Campers. Um, we hinted to this in the, uh, the expo video that we did. Yes, um, yes. 
Yeah, so that was so much fun going over there, meeting those guys, getting this installed, and just uh, just having a blast. It's so, so cool. Yep. I haven't had, sadly, much chance to use it yet other than just once. Um, but as things warm up, hopefully, <laughs> uh, that'll happen. <laughs> well, I almost forgot another one that we did. Uh, onboard Air. Onboard Air. That's right. Yeah. Yes. ARB twin uh -huh. compressor specific yep. mm -hmm. um, bracket from... Uh, Silver Star USA, Copper Star USA. Copper Star bop, USA. Bop, bop, no, cut. Copper Star USA was the... Yes. So the bracket was by 589 Fabrication. Yes. Yep. And then we have the custom uh, the custom air outlet, inlet outlet. Uh, <laughs> I from, just thought of something I'm going to tell from it From Copper to say. Star USA. <laughs> Camera. And then we did a really cool little hood lighting kit as well yes. from Copper Star yes. USA, which was awesome. Yep. And then the, uh, the air... Uh, it, uh, um, the air Porsche. coupler yeah. in the in the bumper. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I said that. Oh, you already said yeah. that. You okay. were busy thinking about it. I was things. thinking about something else. <laughs> <laughs> and about now, now I shall say it. Uh, and with the installation of the um, <laughs> of that air compressor, I think we officially have tapped out your single battery. My battery? Your yeah. single battery? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. It is a mess. It's still cooking. It is a gosh darn son of a gun mess in there. Chris. Actually, cooking probably. Yeah. <laughs> It's uh, it's fine. It all works. Nothing has failed. True. Uh, True. It still starts in in single digit weather. Yeah. 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 It. I'm gonna replace it soon. I have to. <laughs> yeah. It's it's gonna be bad. <laughs> no. I. I mean, we. You've been. You've been smart. We've been. We've made sure to do do our due diligence with like making sure everything is all the wiring is protected yes. and routed away from hot stuff and yeah. everything like yeah. that. But it is just kind of all kind of come to a head where I don't think you're going to be adding any more and electronic I, accessories. I don't plan on it, no. but we'll see. If I do, then we'll look at like dual battery setups, yeah. but I don't, I, I don't anticipate that. We, we put in, that was something we forgot to say. We put in along with the lights, we put in a S tech switch system with like a low voltage Originally, yeah, in the first year. And, yep. Yeah. For the, uh, the, oh yeah, the, uh, the, the Baja designs mm -hmm. light in the front, front, front and rear. rear bumper. So yeah. it might look like a mess in there, but it's actually really well done. <laughs> it is. It is. Because we did it. So with all that in mind, Chris, is there anything that you would do differently or that you would maybe tell people to kind of stick, stay away from or, or that for sure that or... Sure. Any, um, any regrets or, any, or suggestions any for anybody? Regrets. Not especially. Uh, using this and and uh, and wheeling with it and taking it, you know, on 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 smaller trips and things like that. The only thing I can think, and I, I am actually going to be changing this very soon. Okay. Um, is kind of my, it's very small, but the Rotopack setup that I have over there, I've realized that um, I'm using the water quite a bit. I'm not using the gas, so I, I think I'm going to take that off and I'm going to I'm going to keep it, but I'm only going to load it on trips and I'm not going to keep it on there all the time. And right. storage is something that's that's become more of an issue for me, so I think I'm going to switch out to a storage solution on the bed rack instead. But these are just like growing pains that you figure right. out as right. you're doing this. Um, but none of the major modifications that we did cool. do I regret in the slightest. They've all been fantastic. Um, yeah. I can't believe we didn't mention the onboard air because that's been a huge thing since oh, yeah. we finally got it up and running. Right. There was a bit of an issue with, um, and again, uh, we, we updated this in the description, but we had issues with like the, the hose that we ran mm -hmm. from the, from the, from the mount, uh, from where it's mounted yeah. in the engine bay to the back where it would get too hot and the blow off. The couplers on the hose specifically, yeah. yeah. But now that that's fixed, it's been phenomenal and it's so much easier and just more convenient. So it's yeah. it's, it's been very, very cool. What's left? What's left, there, there you are like 90% to the final form yes. of your, of like where, of what you wanted right when you bought the truck mm -hmm. right at the beginning. Should we tell them? Should we tell them yeah, what's gonna happen? Yeah, we can tell them. Uh, <laughs> So it's it's gonna get a little beefier. Uh, we're gonna we decided to do the uh, the high mark fender flares. Um, we're gonna go up to 35 inch tires uh, and new wheels as well. Um, we're doing the the kind of the final AEV treatment on this thing. So it's gonna <laughs> you're, be you're really making cool. you're making our buddy uh, Nate who works there uh, very happy. <laughs> good, good. He's a good guy. He, <laughs> he deserves is a good to guy. be happy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so it's, I, I went ahead and did the AAV Salta XR wheels um, and BFG KO2s in 35s. I love KO2s. Yep, they're going to be awesome. Yeah, I fell in love with them after I had them on the first truck. I think they're yeah. phenomenal. Um, yeah, and then we're going to be, I mean, because you can't just you, you do that. You can't just throw that on there. You can't yeah. just do that on this truck without, I just talked about gas mileage. <laughs> Uh, so we're going to be re-gearing, um, we're going to go up to, to four tens and, uh, we're going to, we're going to, um, 
reach out to some friends, some contacts at Nitro Gears. And yeah, I think it'll still be, I think with the gears, it'll still be surprisingly liv livable. Right. Um, you know, we had that awesome chance uh, with Nate to, to, to uh, drive and one. Yep, check yep. out the, the in-house Bison build with the 35s and everything on it and the 410s and all that. And um, it was a diesel, but it was, it drove great. It, it still had pep, you know, all that stuff. So yeah. I'm very excited about it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I can't wait. It's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, and and Nitro Gears is also not too far away from us, so it's just going to it's going to be great. So, anyway, guys, uh, that is the rundown on this truck. Uh, if you want to see this truck in its final form, please uh, like this video, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. And it shouldn't be that long of a wait until that happens. Check us out on the Instagram too. We're always yep. posting random stuff over there. So. Both of us are. Yep. yep. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with us. And uh, if you want us to do more of these chat videos or have other ideas that you would love to hear the infinite wisdom of Jason and Chris about, you know, let us know. God help us all. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>